Hey guys, Brian Moon here with GNS Fence and Deck. Uh, today we're out in the east side of Tallahassee showing off some of our large acreage style fence. Um, we're going to show you some three rail, which you can probably see behind me, and some 48 inch no climb. And of course there's a lot of variation of this as well. Uh, we're going to cover a lot of areas, so bear with me. It's going to be kind of a long video. Uh, I'm going to drive around the property, kind of show everything off. Uh, we'll start here. This is 48 inch tall, four foot tall, no climb horse fence. Um, there's nothing to catch, you know, cut a horse on here. No welds, this is a lot better than your welded wire style. Uh, we got a corral board on top to dress it up. As you can see, it's about a uh, 13, 1400 foot run here. Um, got the farm gates. There's 16 footers that uh, have them on both sides of the property. And this no climb runs the perimeter of the whole property. And on the inside, to break up the pins, we have some four foot tall three rail. This is built out of uh, four by fours. And then we have rough cut corral boards. And then we cap the seams with uh, one by sixes. Um, there's a lot of variations to this. You could, if, you know, if you have smaller animals like dogs or goats or things like that, but you want to dress up fence like this, we can put that same wire that we have in the no climb behind this three rail. Um, and you probably have seen some of those off Buck Lake Road perhaps. Um, got a few there. One is built just like this style with the wire in it. And then we also could do X bracing and things like that. Whatever you want to dress it up. I'm gonna ride down the fence line here. This 48 inch, this stretch is about 700 feet or so that comes up to the house. And they're gonna pour a driveway that kind of makes this bend see it, how we got it running through the trees. Looks great, looks great. And again, got the, uh, around the perimeter out there, have the 48 inch no clone. This three rail is gonna run this, the driveway up to the house and the stables. And again, there's variations to this, you know, um, We've also built it in five foot tall four rail, um, you know, cross bracing. And you can also use hog wire and things like that if you don't need the no climb wire. That's pretty expensive wire um, if you don't need the horse wire. Here we got a couple of other pins made in the back behind the garage here, or the uh, barn here. Looks great. You can see that we've got four foot walk gates that run through the whole perimeter of this place as well, so they can ride the horses around the whole perimeter. Here we have another three rail running back out to the road, although on the back side there'll be another driveway coming off the back side. This side of the property has the. Uh, it actually has a regular hot wire fence instead of wire. We didn't put that part on. So we get around here to another 16-foot gate. It heads out to the driveway, and then I'll show you this run here We're in the perimeter of the 48-inch snow climb with a crowd board on top. And again, we could dress this up. You know, you could do this in the three rail as well with that wire. And yeah, really, I said it's about a 1400 foot run here. Um, that's a great fence for large acreage areas. You know, we've actually done some in town, but that's not a common thing. But uh, a lot in the Buck Lake area, Bomb Road, Wagesboro Road, you can see them. You know, if you wanted to take a look, you could drive right up and see a lot of these uh, that we have around town. It's, uh, when you got a lot of acreage, it's a cost-effective fence. Um, when you got this, this much fence going up. Uh, you know, and, and it looks good in this setting. If you got any questions, uh, give me a call, 850-443-7380. I would be happy to come out, take a look, uh, you know, discuss your options. Again, like I said, there's a lot of variations depending on the type of stock 
you're trying to keep in or if it's just for looks. You know, there's a lot of ways we could uh, change this style up. Thanks.